Welcome everyone to another edition of Frenchie's Friends Feature Friday. We are on the road at High Bank Distillery in Columbus, Ohio with Zach, the general manager. We're in the back room and just truth be told, we have had about five shots already and I apologize for the fuzzy. I got to apologize for fuzzies. I forgot my freaking microphones back in the hotel room, so I got fuzzies. I'm sorry about that. I'm not going to say it's because of the alcohol, but because <laughs> you were here before the alcohol. <laughs> I was here before the alcohol, but uh, so friend Joel, basically from the uh, Kings, Ducks, and Angels. Say hello, just wave, there he is. So producer Joel is out here. He just moved out here from California. He is now the producer of the Columbus Blue Jackets. Yeah, he, he said, is. Let's go. Stop it. So he said, I need to come out here to High Bank and Zach's kind enough to, to have a whole tour for the crew and it's been, it's been amazing. So uh, first and foremost, I, I read some stuff online. 2014, owners got together, kind of came up with this idea. You opened up in 2018. Why, why a distillery here in Columbus as opposed to a brewery, which I know the boys that yeah, opened yeah, this up were going to go. Yeah, yeah well, uh, I think it all started really, well, actually, I know, it was because they were drinking. Um, so that's, that's how it started. Um, they were super excited about drinking beer, and they're like, hey, we love beer. Let's start with a, a brewery. Yeah. They looked, they realized there are so many breweries in Columbus, so they're like, you know what, let's just switch this to basically our second love, which is whiskey, and make a distillery. So that's kind of how it started. Why is High Bank kind of set apart from some of the others? And, and oh, by the way, help me help me understand, were there about three distilleries when this place opened? Yeah, there's, uh, th three, four, something like that. A lot of smaller ones. We had some, some yeah. larger ones that have been around a little bit longer. So um, everything that we do is, is very, very local when it comes to our restaurant, which also makes us really, really cool. Um, we are in the state of Ohio, the first restaurant distillery concept that was attached together. Good. Good. I guess we didn't discuss that earlier. No, but, we uh, discussed a lot of things. By the way, this will be on a future podcast. It will be. Yes, French Trend Podcast presented by Green Cheek Beer. Just a plug for that. Go ahead, <laughs> keep going. But yeah, so uh, back in 2016, the laws actually changed to where you can actually have a restaurant attached to a distillery, uh, which is honestly kind of a weird thing that they didn't do that before because yeah. when you're doing distillery tours, you're usually drinking. I don't understand why you can't have food. So, uh, but they changed those yeah. laws. Um, yeah, and then so we were the first uh, distillery restaurant concept. Um, we also uh, won a very prestigious award that... Yes, tell us about that because yeah. it's, it's like amazing. Yeah, so we, we entered a lot of our products into the San Francisco World Spirits Competition. Um, we won Best in Show. Uh, basically, they take all the uh, double gold uh, products blind taste them together and then choose the best one. So uh, we are the first distillery in Ohio to uh, get that uh, best in show award, whether that is a vodka, win uh, vodka, gin, whiskey, whatever it is. So we are the first. Best blended whiskey. Best blended whiskey in America. So bourbon will be out next year. That's so it's, it's, it's aging, you know, it takes some time. I love it. So uh, I know you just took us, he just took us on a, a wonderful tour, but over here though, you explain something that's very cool. So you don't mill, but you do everything else. That's we do everything this, else. That's yeah. On this wall. Yeah. yeah. So we, I mean, right now we don't have a farm, so yeah. we're we're definitely not making our own corn or anything like that. But we do. We get all of our corn, um, all of our wheat, and all of our barley local in Ohio. Okay. So um, same with all the barrels that we get here. We try to do everything as locally as we can, just to support Ohio and everything local. So uh, yeah. So we do everything from mashing, ferment, distill, barrel, bottle, and then of course when it's ready to go drink it and so it's whiskey gin vodka and you just saw some of the willy wonka stuff here which is yeah which is fantastic yeah. so everything is done here in this facility correct so um the only thing again just with our with our blend we bring that in we bring that in and we actually blend it here and then bottle it mm -hmm. um but with our bourbon everything from that from that down is is all us vodka gin all us so when uh, we first came in zach came over um and he got us a cocktail Right. So what am I drinking right now? So you are actually doing our corner office. So we, we do a lot of these executive uh, cocktails, as we call them. Um, basically, it's either using our barrel proof or our midnight mm -hmm. cast, which are um, more expensive whiskey products that we have. So this one's actually a split base between the uh, barrel proof and our midnight cask. What we do is we actually took a, a Cabernet and we actually reduced that down to make it's it ridiculous. like a syrup. He just, I stopped him there. And yeah. said, just pour me the glass for yeah. crying out loud. Yes. So it was, it was, it's it was good amazing. stuff. Yeah. So uh, make whiskey, not war. Yes. Am I right? That is correct. Joel, get over there. I'm doing it on a re for a reason. There he is. Yes. So uh, you're, um, that, the one that won best blend in uh, 2021, right? Correct. Yes. Yeah. So it was what, like what, May of this what year. What was it? So that was our barrel proof product. So Which our green called? label. 
Uh, whiskey War Barrel Proof. Whiskey War Barrel Proof. Okay. Yep. Fantastic. Uh, how can people get a hold of you online? Because you can buy, because I know this is, uh, I do more, more California stuff, but I am on the road, and you got to come. you got to check this out. Yeah. It's, it's really an amazing, an amazing experience. Come say hi to Zach, but uh, give me your socials so people can get a hold of you. Yeah, so we're at uh, High Bank Distillery Co. online. We also have High Bank Distill, uh, a couple different uh, Instagram accounts. HighBankDistilleryCo.com is our website. Uh, we do public tours on Saturdays, 430 if you want to schedule some private ones, we can do that as well with our events at highbankco.com. I'm trying to think. Liquor stores, we're in about 180 liquor stores in the state of Ohio now. Okay. Um, restaurants and bars, probably closer to double that, 300. So anywhere from a lot being in Columbus, Cincinnati, Columbus, uh, the Canton, Akron area. And I know we're in some places up in Toledo, too. You can order online. That's huge for all of us in California, kind of. N no, that's a lie. Because I had five shots. Drinks. So, <laughs> unfortunately, since, since, since we are a control state, we cannot ship out of the state of Ohio as Damn of it, right Zach. now. All right. Um, but we are, we are working on trying to change that, uh, possibly get into some other states to where we can actually order online and ship out of the state of Ohio. Maybe you can contact me and I can send it to you. Yeah, well, yeah, that's, that's the thing. Yeah. <laughs> we know some people in Ohio. <laughs> Listen, work hard, play hard, laugh hard in 2021 as we need to. And if it's cold outside, get warm with high bank whiskey, right? Drinking, yeah, of course, drinking some spirits. All right, cheers, everybody. Cheers.